How'd it go, darling? My champagne. <laughs> you should. You need. You need some real champagne. So we are backstage at the Tom Brown Fall Winter 2022 show at the Javits Centre New York, and we are here with my makeup team. My amazing makeup team. For the Tom Brown show, there were two distinctive makeup looks that we created. One was called the adult makeup look, and one was called the toy. So these characters at some point in the show would walk down the runway side by side, so it was really important that there was some kind of colour or graphic that would marry the two together and make sense of the idea that these adults and these toys had some kind of connection. So the idea was that we create a character, which were the adults, who had these big kind of ball-shaped hairdos. We gave them a skinny brow, and then we gave them these kind of bold key colours on the cheek and lip that corresponded to some of the colours that they were wearing in their outfit. So when we came to the toys, the idea was that we would really maximise this concept and do something very abstract and kind of childishly sort of naive in the approach to it. So we decided to do big, bold, graphic block shapes in the colours of their corresponding adults. So we've got orange is a hero colour here, we have this like big blue triangle. So we're creating shapes so we kind of cut through the features to make these really kind of bold, abstract, toy-like shapes. And they were basically a kind of hyper-dramatised version, still feeling childlike and kind of very fantastical of the adult look. At the very beginning of the show, we had one hero character that would come out and he was almost like the kind of the keeper of the toys and he was called the big bear character. All of the lashes are magnetic and they're by a company called Lamb Lash, so we've got these really amazing lashes on everyone. Um, you haven't had your foot on yet, but we will. I really love working with Tom Brown and it's one of the shows I look forward to most during Fashion Week. Normally we do a show either in Paris or New York and I just know that it's going to be one of those shows that really pushes me and my team. Most often because of the high model count, we're talking like 60 models upwards. This show was no exception and actually it's nice to work with Tom because he has such a strong vision of what he sees in his shows so it's much easier for me to then try and translate that through makeup because I'll just work very closely with him talking about his ideas how he sees the makeup and the hair look kind of come together and it just it means I can then go away and be really really kind of thorough and systematic about how I begin to create the makeup looks of the show. So everyone's just gone for line up now so we're going to go and head over to 